uh, we must absolutely avoid the catastrophic following alternative, the Iranian bomb or the bombing of Iran. This is Faith Complex, a dialogue about the entanglement of religion, politics and art. Hello, I'm Sarah Feinberg of Georgetown University, sitting in for Jacques Berlinablot, and you're watching Faith Complex. Our guest today is a geopolitics expert, Dr. Frédéric Ancel. Frédéric Ancel has authored numerous books about the geopolitics of the Middle East, including most recently his Horizon Géopolitique. Frédéric, welcome to Faith Complex. Thank you very much. So tell me, Frédéric, does Iran live up to its hype? Are the Iranians as hell-bent on destabilizing the Middle East, as many would allege? Uh, we are often here that uh, the problem is Israel because uh, Israel would be the only country to be terrified by the issue uh, of the nuclearization of Iran. But we have to, to not forget that uh, the Arab Sunni countries in the Middle East and especially the two superpowers uh, of the Arab League, Egypt and Saudi Arabia, uh, are also afraid by Iran. And uh, Saudi Arabia uh, had created in 2005, uh, for the first time, uh, a center for nuclear research, and it's uh, unprecedented. Saudi Arabia was uh, and is still so afraid by the pan or ground sheet expansion mm -hmm. of Iran uh, that uh, twice in 2006 and 2008 and 9, uh, during the wars against Israel and Hezbollah and Israel and Hamas, mm -hmm. that Saudi Arabia and Egypt were uh, behind Israel. And it's, uh, it's amazing to, to see that. Many claim that the Iranian threat has caused a major power balance shift in the Middle East. And uh, most notably, in this potential Sunni, Arab, Israeli, American alliance. Do you think that there is a major change in Arab geopolitics? Or is it more of a temporary reaction of the enemy of my enemy is my friend? It's a, it's a strong evolution and structural evolution. We see an opposition between Sunni uh, countries, Arab countries and Iran. And uh, there isn't uh, now in the Middle East, uh, an Israeli-Arab conflict, but more and more an Arabi-Iranian conflict. And I have some, only four examples, uh, maybe uh, the opposition, the oil concurrency opposition between Iran and Saudi Arabia, the cultural Arab-Persian mm -hmm. multi-secular opposition, and uh, institutional opposition between a tribal uh, Arab uh, centralized uh, system, as in Saudi Arabia, and uh, a republic, uh, Islamic Republic, in which the centers of power mm. are very, uh, very dispatched. And so, and last but not least, if, if I may, uh, you, you, you find um, the opposition between Sunni and, and Shiite, as you. On the flip side of it, how would you evaluate the sources of Iranian foreign policy? Is uh, President Ahmadinejad's uh, Holocaust-denying, genocide-predicting, anti-Israel, anti-American rhetoric a natural product of its uh, theology and eschatology, or is it mere political bravado? For me, the Iranian foreign policy now is how can we stay in power? Because Mr. Ahmadinejad and Mr. Khamenei, this team, knows very well uh, what is the degree of impopularity uh, in, within the Iranian population, uh, and particularly uh, since uh, June of uh, 2009 and, uh, and the election, democratic election. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, 
um, they, they are developing uh, a very aggressive and nationalist um, uh, talk uh, toward the, the, other the, the other countries. You are an expert of French foreign policy and most recently France has taken an increasingly hard stance uh, against Iran under the Sarkozy government. What is the rationale behind this? Under uh, Jacques Chirac presidency, obvious presidency, uh, the relationship of uh, France toward Iran was so-called um, a critical dialogue. Mm -hmm. Jacques Chirac s said, okay, we don't like this regime, we don't like uh, this evolution, but it's better to continue to discuss with them. Now Nicolas Sarkozy uh, has a real uh, different side. It's a specific policy of Mr. Sarkozy and uh, it's the illustration uh, in my eyes uh, of the deep and profound reorientation of the right wing in France. Mm -hmm. So do you think that Arab France is not pro-Arab anymore in terms of French foreign policy? Yes, I, I think that. I think that uh, the ideology, the Gaullist ideology that led this policy not exist more and now uh, we, we find uh, a, um, a pragmatic way of leading the, po the foreign policy. Let's look into the future right now. How do you think that the Iranian question should be resolved? Uh, are you in favor of an Israeli intervention? I am in favor of the non-obtention by Iran uh, of the bomb. If the United States can't prove a real determination in this issue, in this file, what about Japan? What about Germany? What about other allies of uh, uh, Americans that, uh, that hope to be protected by the, by the American powerful? Uh, I'd like to uh, add a sentence uh, that said that Mr. Sarkozy uh, said in front of all French ambassadors in the world in 2007. He said exactly, we must do, uh, we must absolutely avoid the catastrophic following alternative, the Iranian bomb or the bombing of Iran. Thank you so much, Professor Anselm. Thank you very much.